Hello everyone and welcome to Peterson Family Farm. Uh, spring is here and corn planting is right around the corner. And so uh, we are getting ready to plant here. Uh, taking our planter apart a little bit, replacing some parts on it. We also like to buy our Christmas presents on Christmas Eve. He means we procrastinate. What all are we doing to it? We're putting new opener blades, new Keaton seed formers, and new gauge wheels. And we switched the uh, plates from Milo, which was the last crop we planted last year, to back to corn. The first right, crop we'll no plant this year. Ready. So, as you can see behind me, we've kind of got everything laid out here. The the old and the new, and so we're gonna work on uh, getting that done. I've seen one uh, cornfield that was planted already in this county, and some people on social media. We're in no rush. Uh, our best corn was actually our latest planted corn last year, and it's gonna get down to like 28 for about three days in a row. Uh, about in the next in the next seven days, that's gonna happen. And so we don't want that little corn. Uh, Coleoptile coming up out of the ground and getting met with a cold, wet night. Uh, well, not wet, but a cold night. There is some rain in the forecast too. So we're going to say that it's um, overall better chance for yield uh, to wait till the soil warms up a little bit and it'll get a 50 or 60 degree welcome instead of a 30 degree welcome to the world. All right, so on each one of these here, the last crop we planted was Milo, you can see in there. And so we're switching from Milo to corn. Uh, first thing we did on each of the, one of these was this little piece was right here and we moved it to there. Surprisingly, that makes a pretty big difference. Then we raised this little paperclip looking thing from down here up to here. And then uh, we slid this brush here uh, from being parallel here to being at a little angle. And then we put this in right here. And then uh, we're also switching these out here. All right, so yesterday you saw us do some replacements here um, down below on the planter. Uh, today we're going to get the uh, monitors put in the cab and we're going to get uh, the planter greased and uh, ready to go for planting next week. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the greasing. All right, so the first thing I did was put this, uh, this uh, air compressor in here. Next will be the monitor. All right, next I got this, this one right here. All right, well there you go. Mostly set up, just got to uh, kind of rearrange the cords now. So, cap's done. We've got our Pioneer seed corn here. We're getting ready to put it in the planter and uh, we're gonna try to get started here today. It's Monday morning. We're putting in our short season, or yeah, shorter season silage corn first. It's a 108 day uh, P0805, and we've used it for a few years. We like it because it just gets the job done fast and gives us something to get started chopping on for silage for the cattle. Grow corn, grow! Yeah, so corn, the seed corn comes uh, treated with um, some different fungicides and insecticides and, and things like that. Uh, it's all listed on the label. Um, there's also some different colored kernels in there, which is the refuge, which is un is 
seed that does not have traits to resist pests um, so that the pests eat on that and don't develop a resistance to um, the kind that does have the trait to resist them. This is seed talc and graphite. Helps the seed flow well and the meters to meter well. Just a little touch. Mix it all on up. Alright, Nathan is... You okay? <laughs> Nathan's uh, going to bring the planter and tractor out to the field. Um, I'm going to take the uh, semi-trailer up here that's got the fertilizer in it. And uh, we'll put the fertilizer in the planter. And we'll try it out. Nathan said to uh, fix the seed on the back of the trailer. I see what he means. All right, we did a little, we did a little test run here. You can see we need to get a little deeper, a little deeper. All right, we did a few adjustments. Some people uh, do all this, you know, before it's time to plant, but uh, we're cattle farmers, so we get, we had other things to do. planting all day um, had quite a few breakdowns uh, the first day of planting um, we had a, a gauge wheel um, come off uh, we had uh, some of these uh, fertilizer um, openers here in the front uh, start leaking because the hoses are going bad so uh, we we uh, basically just temporarily fixed them and, and we'll hope to uh, get new hoses put on those uh, maybe when it rains. We're uh, planting into a uh, cover crop here, as you can tell. Um, this was a corn field last year, and it's going to be a corn field this year. Uh, we're trying a corn cover corn uh, rotation for the first time. Uh, and the cover crop was, I think, uh, it was triticale and uh, oats and uh, maybe some radishes too. Um, I can't remember what Nathan put on here. Um, but uh, it's really nice planting conditions today, and we, we're finally getting rolling now. Uh, we've done about 50 acres here, and uh, still got a few hours left in the day. So uh, it was a good first day of planting. There's a chance of rain on Wednesday, so we're gonna go hard again tomorrow. Uh, but here in Kansas, we don't like to necessarily plant all of our corn at the same time, uh, since we have such a long growing season. So um, even if we only get a couple fields done here, uh, should be in good shape. All right, filling up with fertilizer again. Got to do this every couple passes. Dad is over here uh, working some ground. This is where the cattle were over the winter. Uh, it's where we were feeding them, so uh, it really kind of chewed up the ground there. So we're working it down before we plant. We've been no-till on our farm since about 2000, but we still do a little bit of tillage uh, if, if uh, there's been some erosion or you know if we need to fix something fix something up like cattle tracks stuff like that so
Well, day one has uh, come to a close. I mean, Nathan is still still going, um, but uh, sun setting and uh, had a good day. First day is always the day you work some of the kinks out. So um, now the kinks are are worked out. So looking forward to tomorrow. We'll see you then.